Tansen versus the English government on behalf of the Emperor Napoleon. Day 28. Counsel for the plaintiff, do you have much more for Baron Medeval? Plaintiff's lawyer. Oh, yes, Your Honor. We've barely gotten started. The court. Fine, continue. Plaintiff's lawyer. Thank you, Baron. During the last testimony, you claim that Napoleon Bonaparte's primary motivation was not the expansion of his empire, but the betterment of the French people. Baron Menaval, that is a fact. Although he worked for the betterment of Europe as well. Question. But the history books tell us mostly only of the Napoleonic Wars. Are we just supposed to take your word for it that Napoleon was actually beneficent? Answer. I will tell you about the kind of man Napoleon was. I worked with him as his personal secretary for 11 years. I was with him day and night. My duties, necessarily, led me to be involved with his most personal business. As you know, Napoleon had a son with his second wife, Marie-Louise. The wicked machinations of fate separated father and son. This pained the emperor terribly. But when I told him even all the most mundane details about his son, Napoleon was transfixed. He was sympathetic to the difficulties his wife had due to the position that circumstances had put her in. I never heard Napoleon say a bad word about her. Question. But that was his wife and son. Even a monster might care for his family. Answer. Here is your proof then. When the English government... And its endless series of coalitions gave Napoleon a moment of peace. He spent that time building public works. He, enact, enact, he enacted the Napoleonic Code to give the common people rights for practically the first time in Europe. He sought treaties with other nations pursuing peace. That is the real Napoleon, not the lies found in the history books. He was a man of peace who wanted only public prosperity.